Jason Rosidlo reporting inside the Detroit Science Center for the new exhibit, Creepy Crawly Bugs. It was put together by famous bug collector Dan Caffs, and it will remain on display through November 7th. This is an exhibit as a uh, is a collector's dream uh, put together by Dan Caps of Madison, Wisconsin. It is a part of what was at one time the world's largest insect collection, and it includes insects from all over the world, all the continents, other than probably um, Antarctica, of course. But uh, but just some amazing specimens that are, are really uh, something to behold for professionals, entomologists, and and uh, the, the novice, the everyday person. How does a pest solutions company go about an exhibit like this, putting this together? Well, we do have our own professional entomologists, and they have a unique interest in, in insects. But, and we have a specific interest in helping people solve their pest problems. Insects are a significant part of that. But beyond that, we are members of the community, and we certainly uh, enjoy our history here in Detroit. And this is a way on our 150th anniversary of our uh, founding to uh, give something back to the community and, and for the general community, for kids who have just such an amazing interest in all kinds of things and this is something that's going to pique that uh, as they get a chance to look at these examples and learn about insects. Okay. Is this going to be like a touring exhibit or is this going to be a one-time only thing? This is, at this point, it's a, it's a one-time only. We may have an opportunity to share it to some other of the communities we serve as well, but uh, this collection has been around the country. It's been down to uh, Disney World, Epcot Center. It's been to Chicago at the Science of, of um, uh, Museums there and around the world, but, uh, but it's something quite unique. What do you think is the most popular item in the collection, whether it's a bug or a butterfly or... You know? Oh, there's, there are almost too many here. There are Hercules beetles, which are really impressive, strong. Uh, uh, there are um, some wonderful, beautiful butterflies, some colors you cannot barely imagine. Uh, there are millipedes, centipedes, and, and the whole like, and, and of sizes we don't see here in the United States. And so all of these hold their own unique interests and have quite stories to go with them. Anything else to mention here while we're still here today? Well, as I said, we are, we're celebrating the 150th anniversary, and we just are, are grateful for the clients that, uh, that support us, and we're uh, pleased to be able to share this with the community. Some of these things aren't very beautiful, but if you learn one thing today, I would like you to remember, everything that you see here today is natural and it's real. There's nothing that's been varnished or polished or painted. I know many of them may look very artificial to you, but they are all real. They're just dried out, and they were once alive. Most of these things are not harmful at all. They might look kind of scary, but most of them are not harmful at all. Uh, we have a lot more troubles with things. If I ask a child, what's the most dangerous insect in the world? The answer is simple. It's a mosquito because they carry many diseases. And there are many people that die each year from malaria and uh, other diseases that are carried by mosquitoes. So we're very fortunate to live in an area where we don't have those problems. I started collecting insects when I was eight years old. I'm 60 now, so you can do the math and you can see that I've been doing this for 52 years. And of course, as a child, I wasn't very well organized at it. I've never had any professional training in the field of entomology. This has been entirely a hobby of mine. I had the good fortune to meet some people who graciously uh, guided me along in the path as I was doing this. Even adults think about insects as something that's bad, something that's dangerous. Certainly if you saw them in the movies, everyone is always afraid of insects. Insects are never shown to be good things. But yet when you think about insects, they can be very good. Without them, in fact, our entire world would change. There's no museum anywhere in the world that has one of every kind of insect. Some insects we know from only one example 
There's only been one of it. It's one of a kind. It's never been caught again. Sometimes I found things that were freaks of nature. They were half male and half female, and different things like that. So uh, I don't think there's anyone that could ever identify every insect on Earth. It's just not possible. I brought bugs to eat. Oh no, well see, now hold on, hold on. Because uh, who here eats insects? Anybody? Oh look, see? Now we eat plants, don't we? Yeah, do we eat every plant? No. no. We don't eat every insect, but some insects you can eat. These were made by our good friend Gene, and they're cooking.